Namdi Benjamin Azakai, often referred to as Zik, was a prominent Nigerian statesman and political leader. Born on November 16, 1904, to Igbo parents in Zunguru, which is now part of Niger State, Nigeria, he played a crucial role in the country's struggle for independence and became known as the father of Nigerian nationalism. Growing up in eastern Nigeria, Zik had the opportunity to learn multiple indigenous languages. As a young boy, he spoke Hausa, the main language of the northern region, and later, he lived with his aunt and grandmother in Onitsha, his ancestral home, where he learned the Igbo language. Additionally, during his time in Lagos, he familiarized himself with the Yoruba language. By the time he attended college, Zik was already proficient in three Nigerian languages, which proved to be an asset during his presidency. Zik furthered his education in the United States, where he went by the name Ben Azakai. He attended prestigious institutions such as Storer College, Columbia University, the University of Pennsylvania, and Howard University. During his time in the U.S., he even expressed interest in representing Nigeria at the Los Angeles Olympics. In 1934, Azakai returned to Africa and began working as a journalist in the Gold Coast, now Ghana. In this role, he actively advocated for Nigerian and African nationalism, demonstrating his passion for his homeland and the continent as a whole. Through his journalistic and political endeavors, he became a driving force behind Nigeria's push for independence. His first name, derived from the Igbo language, means, my father is alive, reflecting his Igbo heritage. His father, Obadidam Chukwamika Azakai, was a native of Onitsha and served as a clerk in the British administration of Nigeria, which led him to travel extensively. His mother, Rachel Chinyu Ogbeninu Azakai, sometimes known as Nwananaku, was the daughter of Agadiono Ajai and hailed from a royal family in Onitsha, with her paternal great-grandfather being Obi, Ugagwu, and Azenwu. Azakai had one sister named Cecilia Eziamaka Arins, during his childhood. Azakai spoke Hausa, the regional language of the northern region. However, his father, concerned about his son's limited fluency in Igbo, sent him to Onitsha in 1912 to live with his paternal grandmother and aunt, allowing him to immerse himself in Igbo language and culture. Azakai attended Holy Trinity School and Christ Church School in Onitsha before relocating to Lagos while his father worked there. In Lagos, he attended Wesleyan Boys High School, now known as Methodist Boys High School, Broad Street, Lagos. When his father was transferred to Kaduna, Azakai briefly lived with a relative who was married to a Sierra Leonean Muslim. Subsequently, he returned to Onitsha in 1918 and completed his secondary education at CMS Central School. During this time, he supported his mother by working as a student teacher. In 1920, Azakai's father was posted to Calabar in southern Nigeria, and Azakai joined him there, commencing his tertiary education at the Hope Waddell Training College. It was during this period that he was exposed to the teachings of Marcus Garvey in Garveyism, which became influential in shaping his nationalistic beliefs. After his time at Hope Waddell, Azakai moved to Methodist Boys High School in Lagos, where he developed connections with influential families, including George Shingle, Francis Cole, and Ade Williams. Inspired by a lecture by James Agri, which emphasized the importance of Africans receiving a college education abroad and returning to create positive change, Azakai sought opportunities to study in the United States. His initial attempt to reach America as a stowaway did not succeed, but eventually, his father sponsored his journey. Azakai attended Storer College's preparatory school in West Virginia before enrolling at Howard University in 1927 pursuing a bachelor's degree in political science. He later transferred to Lincoln University in Pennsylvania, where he completed his undergraduate studies, 
graduating with a BA in political science in 1930. During this time, Asakai became a member of Phi Beta Sigma and took courses with Alain Locke. He continued his education at Lincoln University and the University of Pennsylvania, earning master's degrees in religion and anthropology, respectively. Azakai then became a graduate student instructor in the history and political science departments at Lincoln University, where he established a course in African history. While in the United States, he contributed columns to several prominent African-American newspapers, such as the Baltimore Afro-American, Philadelphia Tribune, and the Associated Negro Press. His experiences in America exposed him to the ideals of the African-American press, Garveyism, and Pan-Africanism, which significantly influenced his perspectives and ideologies. Azakai's stay in Accra did not come without challenges. An article titled, Has the African a God?, published in the African Morning Post on May 15, 1936 led to a sedition trial. As the editor, he faced legal consequences for the content published. Although initially found guilty and sentenced to six months in prison, Azakai's conviction was eventually overturned on appeal. Upon his return to Lagos in 1937, Azakai's passion for promoting African nationalism and empowering his people remained unwavering. He founded the West African Pilot, a newspaper that served as a platform to advance the cause of nationalism in Nigeria. The Zik Group, led by Azakai, established newspapers in strategically important cities across the country. With the West African Pilot as its flagship publication, Azakai's pioneering efforts in English-language journalism revolutionized the West African newspaper industry, proving that African-run newspapers could be successful. By the 1960s, after Nigeria gained independence, the West African pilot held significant influence, particularly in the eastern region of the country. Under Azakai's guidance, the West African pilot evolved from a paper focused on building a circulation base to one that actively called for African independence. During World War II, the newspaper expressed support for Great Britain but criticized austerity measures imposed during the war, as Azakai continued to influence public opinion and raise political consciousness. He faced challenges and opposition from colonialist politicians. However, his dedication to African nationalism and black pride resonated with marginalized Africans and impacted their lives positively. Throughout his career as a newspaperman and beyond, Azakai's tireless advocacy and commitment to his ideals earned him the status of a national hero, admired by people across the regional and ethnic divides that once divided his beloved country, Nigeria. Political career, Azakai's political journey began with his involvement in the Nigerian Youth Movement, NYM, the country's first nationalist organization. While he initially supported Samuel Akisanya as the NYM candidate for a legislative seat in 1941, the Executive Council instead selected Ernest Ikoli, leading to Azakai's resignation. He accused the majority Yoruba leadership of discriminating against Ijibu Yoruba members and Igbos, causing a split along ethnic lines. In 1944, Azakai co-founded the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons NCNC, with Herbert Macaulay. He assumed the role of the council's secretary general in 1946, actively championing the cause of self-government for Nigeria. During this period, Azakai faced conspiracy allegations and a press war. His support for a general strike in 1945 and his attacks on the colonial government led to the suspension of the West African pilot newspaper. He also raised alarm about an assassination plot, further raising his popularity among Nigerians. Azakai opposed the Richards Constitution proposed in 1945, advocating for changes to give Africans more say in their governance. He led a delegation to London to present their proposals to the British government but was met with limited success. 
He contested elections and won a regional assembly seat in the Western region. In 1954, Azakai became the premier of Nigeria's Eastern region when it became a federating unit. He played a significant role in Nigerian politics, becoming the governor general on November 16, 1960 and the country's first president when it became a republic in 1963. Despite his ceremonial roles, Azakai continued to play an influential part in politics. During the 1966 military coup, he was among the few prominent politicians who avoided assassination. He supported the secessionist Biafra during the Biafran War but later switched his allegiance back to Nigeria and called for an end to the conflict. In later life, Azakaiu served as the Chancellor of the University of Lagos from 1972 to 1976. He joined the Nigerian People's Party in 1978 and made unsuccessful bids for the presidency in 1979 and 1983. However, his political career was cut short after the December 31, 1983 military coup, Dr. Azakai passed away at the age of 91 on May 11, 1996 at the University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital in Enugu after a prolonged illness. He was buried in his hometown, Onitsha. Leaving behind a legacy as one of Nigeria's most prominent nationalist leaders and a symbol of unity across regional and ethnic divides.